everyone my name is wolf and this will be the first video form review that i will be uploading to this channel today we're reviewing the infinity mice x the roast kenzo shogun to start this pad comes in two sizes we have a standard size, which is their usual 490 by 420, and a square size, which is what this copy is, which I've never tried a square pad before. So this was my first, and I honestly don't regret it. I know a lot of people don't really enjoy using square pads because of the real estate that the pad has on their desk but I've been rather enjoying it. And the dimensions for that is 520 by 520. The pad comes in at four millimeters of thickness, but I know Jake, you actually measured it and said that it was more of 3.5 to 3.6. The pad overall is very good quality. Base is probably one of the best, no, actually is the best base I've ever used on a pad. This is their new custom IPU plus space. This base is very unique. I have had no problems with this thing on my desk. In fact, after a certain amount of usage or honestly, probably like a little small gaming session, you'll probably have to peel this pad off of your desk. This pad is probably my pad of the year so far. Uh, I know there's a lot of companies coming out with newer things and this is the year to, I feel like branch off from the whole black square base and we could just honestly leave that to Artisan. Uh, I feel like we shouldn't be riding the Artisan coattail. We're not recreating the wheel when it comes to mouse pads. At the end of the day, everything comes down to preference. You have to make something that stands out from the rest. And I believe these pads, well, if it mice in general is taking a step in the right direction i first found out about infinity mice when they released their vagabond i believe and i flipped the coin whether to get the infinity mice shogun or the musashi x strafe void and got this and honestly i do not regret that i feel like i'd regret it more if i didn't get this pad because how amazing it is and i've probably never used a controlled pad like this while this pad is a controlled surface it is it does not really tug first there's no texture on the initial surface of the pad itself it's very smooth never thought that i'd like a controlled surface like this like ever and i have little friction when uh using the pad i mean i am using dots right now on the starlight 12 and I also have a Frankenstein set up on my super light. I'm using uh, some old G Pro uh, skates mixed in with some dots. It works. So I'm just gonna do it. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but you know, if it works, it works. And uh, for most games like Overwatch, I tend to use a heavier mouse like the G Pro. And using the G Pro with this pad is very satisfying. There is no tug everything is smooth while it is a bit slower uh that's not really much of an issue i believe that this pad is the pad to be in my opinion and this will be the baseline for pads that i use in the future i personally have had no issues with the build quality of the pad but like the only issue that's not really an issue is the fact that this top left corner here don't com doesn't completely lay flat on the desk but that's just, that would be nitpicking. I know some people that I've talked to has had some stitch fraying um, after probably a week or two of usage. And I can confidently say that I've had, I've been only using this pad since I've gotten it. With the exception of probably two days of me going back to my sky pad because I was having a midlife crisis, but I've had no problems and no frays in my stitching still feels great i've probably been using it for uh, uh coming up to a month now and the surface still feels fine there's no there's no snagging anywhere no matter where i move my mouse it is smooth i can admit that i was wary of getting a, a control pad and i've always been wary of getting a control pad and i've always uh leaned more towards speed pads but last year i tried what i done the lily carries uh, mouse pad which is the free fall sv base 
uh v2 and i was actually blown out of the waters with this pad i will be doing a review on it uh itself i know they are working on releasing another version or another mouse pad but this pad i can confidently say if this if, if the shogun didn't exist this would be my favorite control pad of all time but the shogun has left me absolutely speechless when it comes to the performance the speed uh the control and i get all that with a smooth surface is a very a big plus in my experience a sleeve uh is not compatible with this pad i know some people says otherwise but for me it just doesn't work and my sleeve tugs uh if i'm using a sleeve on the infinity mile shogun however i've had no problems i know people recommend using it with a sleeve but i feel like it's not needed and i feel like you could raw dog it per se uh, i do live in florida and my room probably is slowly cooking me alive as we speak because of how hot it gets down here sometimes and so i do accumulate a lot of sweat in my uh forearm area and sometimes my palm uh depending on the day and usually uh especially with like my sky pad and sometimes with the sv base control pad it gets wet and it uh tugs a little bit not so much on this pad as bad as my sky pad but i have not had any issues with the shogun nor have i had it start feeling muddy on me all in all i feel like this pad is one of the closest pads uh to perfect in my opinion and for my preferences and what i what i prefer and i would recommend it to everyone but unfortunately this pad is sold out but do make sure to check out their website they still have a number of other pads which is the infinite control hybrid and speed the hybrid and control are on sale for only 29.99 at the moment and since I don't have a discount code, use code Stubby at checkout or he'll come and personally break all of your mice.